This afternoon we're going to look at example number four where we have calcium carbonate will come apart when you heat it to leave calcium oxide and carbon dioxide. So the first thing we need to look at is calcium carbonate. If I look at calcium carbonate, I know that calcium has a plus two charge. I know that carbonate has a minus two charge. So if I look at those two, I need one of each. So my chemical formula is going to be Ca, C, O, 3. And it says that when it's heated, it will leave calcium oxide. Now we know that calcium has a plus 2 charge. We know that oxide has a minus 2 charge. When we put those together, we're going to get calcium oxide. And carbon dioxide. Well, we know we have carbon. Di tells us that we have 2, so it's O2. So we have calcium carbonate goes to calcium oxide and carbon dioxide. So now we're going to look at our reactants and our products. First we're going to look at our calcium, then we're going to look at our carbon, then we're going to look at our oxygen. So if we look at calcium, right now we have one calcium on the reactant side, we have one calcium on the product side. If we look at carbon, we have one carbon on that side. We have one carbon on that side. That's balanced. So our oxygens, we have three oxygens on that side. And we also have one plus two, three oxygens on that side. So this chemical formula is balanced without having any coefficients changed. And that's our answer for question number four.